So, I felt like this episode kind of had a lot in it. Like, we got introduced to new characters. And um, a lot of questions arose of the world. So, let me just go over the episode really quick. So, first what happened was that Calvin went. Um, obviously, the re- receptionist was surprised that his, like, you know... He's so powerful, and then this guy comes, and he offers, you know, I'll take you on, like, you know, my party is scheduled to go and fight the Black Spirit Night tomorrow, so why don't you join our party, we could take it down together tomorrow, and luckily Kelvin knows, um, they're trying to need, like, a bunch of, um, like, at the end of the day, they just want to, like, kill him and stuff. So, thank God Calvin, you know, realizes that. But in order to, you know, trap them he, or um, in order to, you know, have them in one place, he just goes with it. And, you know, fast forwarding, when we arrive to the castle, they arrive and to their surprise, Calvin waiting there and he reveals a, a new your plan all along you're trying to kill me and from there the fight starts between them and obviously Calvin wins with the sense of his slime that evolved to a slime gluttony I think a big slime monster and then after defeating them he Turns around and you know wants to fight the Black Spirit Knight. And at first, he's all the Black Spirit Knight is all nice and wants to talk to him because it's been so long since you know he has spoken to anyone. Uh, he did mention you know that every time they look at him, um, they assume you know. That he's a straight up monster with no sense of reason. So they just like fight him on sight. But what's interesting about this interaction was the backstory he gave us. So he said that he was from a kingdom from long ago. And pretty much this self. Because um, cause our, our king um, refused, um, refused to help this elf kingdom. At the request of destroying a, a holy empire or something. Um, you know, he says uh, there will be, you know, consequences for your, um, for you not listening to our kingdom. And then coincidentally, a few days later, there's a big uh, disease, outbreak disease, I think. Not really sure, didn't explain, but pretty much everyone in the kingdom dies, and he's pretty much the only survivor. And so, yeah, that's that was a question about the world that kind of uh, stuck with me. Like, were the elves really behind this, or was it all coincidence? Because we still don't know what killed them off. Second is. You know, are we ever gonna um, hear them, the, his kingdom again? Because, I mean, it sounded important, but maybe it's just an, a kingdom uh, to name. Um, I do wonder if it's important to the story. Um, yeah. But, um, back to the fight, they, they pretty much continued their fight until, you know, Calvin is the winner, and he goes back to the guild, he celebrates, and the receptionist tells him, you know, you have, um, um, since you defeated this uh, Black Spirit Knight, um, we have a promotion in line for you and a special reward from the guild. 
um, from that Calvin just carries on and goes back to the room but then um, it seems that towards the end we see someone you know just standing there waiting for Calvin to come up and I think by the looks of it I think it's the guild master himself I'm not really sure who it is yet we have we'll have to wait until next episode to find out um but yeah that was pretty much the episode overall i i didn't enjoy watching this episode and i hope you guys did too so please leave a like subscribe and comment your thoughts and opinions of this episode thank you and i'll see you guys next time bye